Now let me talk about this concept of private debt where any company is raising capital from the capital market which has the covenant features more or less similar to that of a bank loan. But it's not a bank loan. It is considered as an alternative to the bank loan. And this is just like a private equity where the equity capital is raised from a few set, select set of investors rather than raising it from the public. Here we are talking of the bonds that are traditionally issued to a few set of, to a limited set of private individuals or private entities. So they are not actively traded. Because the number of buyers are very, very limited in number. So typically intended to be provided to those investors who have the motive of buy and hold. The secondary market is not that active for this kind of instruments. In general, they can be issued in any currency. But where the liquidity is, uh, whatever extent it is higher, where the currency is stronger like the US dollars. This is where you see majority of these private uh, debts are typically raised and the maturities associated with them are very long term in nature. And the role wise they are very focused on covenant protection because generally they are very illiquid. And what we have seen even in the recent financial crisis is in the illiquid markets the investors will not be able to sell their private debt investments, especially if the credit downturn has happened. So the focus is on the collateral, the, co the quality of the collateral, the various protection instruments that are associated with the collateral. Why will someone go for issuing a private debt? Few important things come up. I am able to raise loan without getting into a bank. Now, when I'm, what is the advantage? I don't need to go for a debt rating. A formal debt rating is not required if I am going with this kind of a mechanism. And the private debt is again a major source of capital, just like a public debt. And generally in the market, the private debt is also available at a competitive pricing, which means I don't need to trouble the banks if I am able to get an alternate source of debt and I don't need to spoil my relationship with the bank. My credit lines are very much freed up with the bank. The relationship is more positive with respect to the banks, which can help me to raise loan from the bank even at a later point in a much better effective manner. It gives me the possibility to refinance the existing term loans from the bank. But again, this refinancing need not happen with a credit rating specifically obtained. And the purpose of funding, if I go with a traditional bank loan, the purpose of funding has to be very much clearly offered. But here I don't need to really look at revealing the purpose of funding. And to a large extent, even these debts, private debts are medium to long term in nature. And the, because the prepayment option is very costly, I should look at going with them for a final up to the final maturity itself without looking at any sort of prepayment. Right?